people from the beauty that comes with a painful history. <laughs> Hey girl, I was just calling to check on you, see how you're feeling today, what's your next. Just give me a call back whenever you do it. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keyshante Chantel. If you are new here, I don't know, it's just kind of hard for me to like even talk about this or do a introduction. I know it is the start of 2024. I know that I have been gone from YouTube for quite some time and you know, if you are new here, then you probably don't know everything that's been going on. Um, back in October, my sister, my older sister was diagnosed with stage four terminal lung cancer. And I stepped away from social media because I felt like during that time, it was just unknown of what was gonna happen. And I wanted to be there fully to support her in any type of way, whether it was just to take her to doctor's appointments and, you know, just be there for her 100%. And so I put social media on the back burner just because, you know, time is not promised to any of us. And right now I'm, um, having to navigate. Right now, it's just, it's very hard for me to talk about just because, you know, my sister did. She passed away back in December. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, it's still fresh. Everything's still fresh. It's only been like about a week and a half since everything just kind of took place and um this is not the part of life that anybody is prepared to deal with and so you know i've never been one to just sit and cry on camera but this this shit hurts you know it hurts and um my sister had so much fight in her like if you have followed my youtube journeys from 2020 up until now you would have seen her on my channel multiple times you would have seen the dynamic that i have with my sisters they truly were my best friends um they they still are um and i have two sisters, Donna and Brittany, and, you know, they are just, they're just my everything, and I just, I would have never thought in a million years that I would be talking about my sister in the past tense, and life just really doesn't prepare you for this, and I've never been one to sit up and think, not me. This can never happen to me. Life is just not guaranteed to any of us. But um, my sister fought very hard for two months of her life. She was in pain and she she stayed for as long as she could and I just thank God so much for allowing me to experience such a beautiful person and um you know it is still it is still very hard and um I'm, I'm dealing with it I'm okay some days and then when I when I talk about her 
I get very emotional because I miss her so much. I miss her so much. And I know that the days ahead are only going to get harder. And I think when it gets to that point where it is very hard, then I will look into maybe talking to somebody because I'll never ever be embarrassed um, about seeking therapy or seeking help. You know, life is just, life just be life in, in having to process that I will probably remember her for as long as or longer than I've known her is just it's very hard to process but I I have to be strong for her children because my sister raised two beautiful daughters and um you know not only that be strong for my mother and also continue to realize that we have a baby sister that I have to be strong for as well um and so I just wanted to update you guys just kind of what's been happening and just kind of where I'm at with it. You know, I'm still struggling. It's still fresh. Um, but one thing that my sister is so funny because I wrote in, um, I wrote on my YouTube channel when she was sick in an ICU, she asked me, when the last time have you posted on YouTube? And I, I told her, I was like, <laughs> Like, I can't, I can't focus on that. And she was just an advocate of just me and my career. And my sister was one of my biggest supporters. And, you know, she fussed at me about not posting on YouTube. And she know that she knew that I was like passionate and it was something that I got enjoyment from doing. And so, um, just kind of where I'm at with it. I am going to slowly get back into the routine of posting content, but I just want you guys to understand that, like, um, I'm not a, a fake it type person. There's going to be days where I just, I'm probably not going to want to get out of bed and I'm not going to force it. I believe in being genuine, especially with my feelings. And so I am trying to navigate through all of this. So I definitely will be back to posting <clears throat> in my time. I'm not going to let too much more time go by without, you know, getting back into the swing of things because I do need something that's going to occupy my time or bring me some sort of enjoyment. So um, I want to thank all of the people who have stuck around this far and have joined me on this journey. I wanna thank you so much for just kind of be there, being there for me. I've gotten messages of people checking up on me, wanting to know like how she's doing and everything that's going on. And you know, I, I owe it to not only myself to be great, but one of my biggest supporters was my sister. So I owe it to her to keep going and that's, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you so much for tuning in, sticking it out and thugging it out with me. Um, I will definitely see you guys in my next video. And thank you for your support.